Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's been forever and a day since I've been here with some digital tips for you. Um, but I'm here today and I want to show you how to take the Art Options Canvas further. I want to show you how to get artsy with these fun, fun paper packs. We've just released Art Options Canvas number seven. So there's six other paper packs in the store to play with. And I want to show you how you can make these an artistic masterpiece. Does that, is that too much? I don't know. Anyway, and excuse my voice, thyroid issues, I'm losing my voice. Anyway, um, okay. So here I have just the plain Art Option Canvas paper number two. And you can see that it's got a solid white background, but it's got all this luscious color. Well, what if I want to take this color and let's say I'm going to make a new document, 3600 by 3600, so our standard like 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. And just for the sake of playing here, I'm going to go with a green. Okay, so, and I'm going to option delete to fill it with my foreground color. And I'm going to move this over to the side. I'm going to go back to my paper. Okay, I've got this messy blotch of paint. Now, if I just took this and dragged it in, I've got the white background. You know, yeah, I can multiply. Yeah, I can color. I can play with all the different blend modes, but I'm not really getting what I want. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do a Command A, select all, and I'm going to go edit and copy. I'm going to go to my channels. Keep in mind, I am working in Photoshop Creative Cloud. I haven't updated in a while, but it's pretty current. And I'm going to go to my channels, and I'm going to add a new channel by clicking on the plus symbol. And it comes in all black. I'm going to Command V or Edit Paste, and I've pasted my painted paper. Now, I'm going to go into my levels, Command L, and I'm going to increase the contrast in my levels. Most importantly, minimize the white. So can you see right in here, you can see some gray. And when I pull the white arrow in to the left, I get rid of that. Okay, so getting my contrast here. Now, I'm going to do a Command I, or Image Inverse. Then I'm going to take Command key, hover over this. You can see the dotted lines. And when I click, I get the marching ants. So this has become a selection, okay? Now go back to your RGB channel and go back to your layers. Okay, are we ready for this? I want you to hit Command J and turn off that layer and look you have created a transparent paint layer. A transparent paint layer, layer that with Command U, you can change the colors of, you can paint with, you could mask to a photo, you could do anything. Now, <clears throat> if you look at this and you're like, oh, I really wish it would have pulled in more of the light pink, well then let's go back here and we're going to go back and back again. We're going to go back to channels and I'm going to paste again and I'm going to go into my levels and I'm going to go deep, 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 deep. And I'm just going to pull a little bit of the white to kind of get rid of that gray. Okay. I'm going to go deep, deep, deep. All right. What this is doing, is increasing the opacity. So everything that is white here is a solid opacity. When it's gray, it's going to be more translucent. So again, command click, go back to my RGB, and command J to paste that into a new layer. So can you see the difference? You can see it in the thumbnails. We got more of the pink in this time. I'm gonna bring it over here. You can even see it over what we did with the blue before. Now I can just fill that with white. And to do that, I did a shift command and delete and that filled it with my background color. 
but I can also play with it and I can mask it and I can paint it and I can take stamps to it. You could take, let's see if I have any handy stamps in here. Okay, we're gonna take our title lines. Oh, this could be a fun one. Okay, so let's take a title line and I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna stamp it, okay? Then I'm gonna take my magic wand tool and I'm gonna click inside the W, hold down the shift key, click inside the H, the I, the T, the E. Okay, now I'm going to select, modify, and expand. I'm going to expand by one pixel. That gives me a bleed overlap, okay? When printing, everything overlaps so that you don't have any white lines in between your colors. So now I'm going to go to layer. Whoops, I wanna make sure I'm on that paint layer. Layer, layer mask, reveal selection. And look, it took that paint and put it inside the title line. Now I can't see the title line because I had stamped it in the same color. But if I shift command and delete, it fills it with my background color, which is white. And look at that, you've got that paint there, it's translucent, and you can do so much with it, right? I think it's the most awesome technique, the way to use these Art Option Canvas papers to their full potential. Don't be limited by the opaque background. Take these and maximize your creativity with them. All right, I can't wait to see what you do. Share them in the gallery at Katie Petit Designs. Remember to click subscribe, like, and follow so that you see the next time that I'm here with more digital tips for you. All right, happy scrapping.